Alright, you are? Alright, they just are there. Uh, Rich said it's gonna come in. It's gonna Sorry, face no. you and not the car first? Yeah, uh, that's what Rich, do you, Rich can said. you just wind down the window? We're live. Oh, we're live! Hello, Electroheads! We're gonna give like maybe like 30 seconds just for people to join, but uh, you have joined us today in the Electroheads car. Hello, Electroheads! <laughs> Sorry, yes, this is Cole. You all know Cole, of course. Look, 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 but look, look what look, we have look, today. Look, look. Oh my god! I feel like we need a sound effect here now. <laughs> so, we got, well, can you guess? Can you guess by uh, just looking at it? Now, it's got the, the famous badge there. With a pony. Yep, big hint. It's the Ford Mackey, that's right. Oh yeah. Big Mac. Oh yeah. So what are we doing today? I think we're doing like a Q&A. We're going to do a walk around the car. We're gonna get in the car, sit, maybe even go for a little drive with you guys live. Um, sorry, I'm just finishing my cup of coffee here. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna do a little walk around. If you guys have got any questions, just write them down in the comments down below. Uh, we'll, we've got someone watching those comments, so they'll be feeding them to us. We'll try and answer them. Um, Ailish. Yeah. What, what do you think so far? Well, I have to say, um, I'm loving the colour actually. Yeah. It's really cool. Oh, and look, of course, here comes Rich. Here he is, here he is. Hello, Rich. The man himself. Hello. Can I just say, I've parked like this on purpose <laughs> so that you can get a good angle of the car. Hello, Electroheads, how are you doing? <laughs> We've just had this arrive, just grabbed it. Um, first impressions are that it's, uh, it's a lot of car. Like it's, even just like driving around this car park, it's really talky, you can feel the power. Um, yeah, just a beautiful looking thing as well. So. I think what we're going to do is like get inside it, show you around, give some first impressions, take some questions from you guys as well if there's anything you want to know about the Mustang Mackey, -E, then just give us a shout and we will do our best to answer that question. I think it's worth saying that we are doing like a full review. By the way, sorry if you've already heard this from these guys because uh, I was driving the car so I didn't hear the start, but um, yeah, we are going to do a full review of the, the Mustang Mackey. -E, so. If there's anything you want us to cover, just let us know and we'll do our best to cover it. Yeah, please do write in because this is all about you talking to us and we want to answer all your questions. So if you've got yeah. any questions about the car or just, yeah. What? I have questions for you already. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, I mean, like, okay. first of all, should we do a walk around? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Then, we're, then should we jump in the car? Yeah, okay, cool. Do, do something on the interior and then maybe go for a drive? Yeah. yeah. That'll be the three stages, walk around, inside, drive. Okay, cool. Right. So let's have a look at it. Like, yeah, there's something I want to show off like straight away, which is it's, this is quite like a sci-fi techie car. And my favorite thing about it is, first of all, there's just this little button here and the door just opens. Ooh. I'm going to do that again. That's, so, that's really different to the Tesla style, isn't it? It is a little bit different. Really? So oh, and it opens. You've also got these numbers here, oh. which just mean that you can like type in a code and that code gets you into into your car a bit like if you go to the gym and you want to put your like sweaty gym clothes into a locker you can just like put your birthday as a code on the locker and then and then just use that locker if you want so yeah this is a bit like a sweaty gym locker really um so if you've forgotten your keys you can still get in i think so i have to admit mojo that i'm not 100 percent sure yet how it works because i've been too scared to accidentally put the wrong code in lock myself out of the car and have to phone forward immediately so um <laughs> Yeah, we're not entirely it's sure yet. Mobile but, phone almost. But yeah, it's, here's a quick look at the interior. It's pretty space age in there. That's a nice big Tesla style, style screen with a huge don't, volume don't control. Don't mention the T word, Mojo. Come okay. On. This is a this is a Ford review. So yeah, we'll we'll jump in there properly in a little bit, but before yeah. then, let's do a walk around. Sorry, can I just quickly just try? Yeah, you can. Over, just, over to you. Hold up. So this unlocks it. Damn! Damn! Yeah! It's like, it's really tactile, like... Ooh! What about yeah! The, Love th that! This one's got a, a handle, what about the rear one? Oh, Ooh, look at that! it just opens for you. I actually really like that! Ooh, wow! Wait, hang on. It's actually assisted. It's, got, it's got... Yeah, I think it is. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. It's really nice. What do you think? What do you think of the design? This this bit here is my favourite bit because it masks the SUV look and still continues yeah. the line of a of a sort of coupe. 
Yeah, I think the look of the car slightly confuses me, actually. Um, I think it's, it's got like a mix of styles going on here, doesn't it? It's, are you are you, are you you hating on it? No, I'm not hating on it. <laughs> I just, it's, it's not my favourite design, for sure. Is, but that, is that anything to do with, with the, uh, the, the price tag, maybe? <laughs> well, I know it's what, 50 grand? 58. 58. 57 this grand car. 58. 58 if in that colour, which yeah. is called uh, Infinite Blue, I think. Oh, I like that. It's quite is that nice, blue? isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, apparently that's blue. It, it must change in the light, I think. Well, I don't, yeah. let's let's talk about that for a sec. Because yeah. fifty-eight grand, right? I mean, that's for starters a lot of money, and on the market, if you have a look, what else is available? There's, there's a lot. Mm. Um, yeah. So, what else did you get for for fifty-eight grand? Oh, well, you can easily fit in a, a ID four, yeah. which has got different practicalities that this might not. I don't know. Um, you can fit a T. <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's, a, there's, I don't know, off the top of my head, there's quite a few, but 58 grand is a lot of money. I think yeah. just, just to be clear, because this is the all-wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. It's ex uh, extended range, so it's, it's, this is like top of the line. Yeah. Mackie that we've got here. Yeah. Yeah. And it starts at what, 40 grand? Yeah, entry level is more like just under 40 with government grant in the UK. Entry level models rear wheel drive though. This is the all wheel drive extended range model, not the like super high performance model that does 0 to 60 in some ridiculous time. This is 0 to 60 in I think 5.9 seconds, uh, 88 kilowatt hour battery, uh, charges from, uh, uh, well, 10 to 80 percent in about 45 minutes um, which should give you about 280 miles of range it claims about 330 miles of range i think on the wltp cycle but when i sit in the car it says i've got 96 percent uh, battery and it's saying that's about 276 miles so i think you always have to take those wltps with a little pinch of salt um so this is probably more like a 300 mile range car i would say which is not bad that's really not that's bad more than you would need usually anyway for an electric car really, yeah it? exactly well, for a car can stop. i can i grab these guys for a second yeah. i want, I want to, to do about, a walk around yeah i want to yeah. do a walk around and talk about like the, the a the design and b the name because obviously they've named this the ford mustang um Mackey, but and the mustang being the key word there i mean I don't know, what do you guys think when you look at this car? Do you see the Mustang? I definitely see it, but I would argue, right, and you guys tell me if you agree, um, that the Mustang was kind of sort of dumped in there as more of a marketing strategy, not just not so much about keeping the, the Mustang alive, it's more about a marketing strategy because ultimately it's a strong name, right? And there is definitely a reason why they can Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was I, see, I, see what I was waiting for you to end your rant. But <laughs> it's not actually for me. It's not even about the Mustang logo. Check out this number plate. Yeah, the number plate. Yeah. <laughs> it's got more than the car. Yeah. <laughs> car one. That's mental. Um, sorry, Cole. You were you were talking no, about no, the you, you, iconic Mustang. You mark. make a very valid point. No, I mean, look, I, I, I'd love to s just hear what people think. Yeah. So right. I'll tell you what. You do a walk around. What? Yeah. I'll chat to people in in the comments section. Cool. And then the I will hopefully have some questions yeah, for you to answer. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. No, you got it. Yeah. Well, right, right. you're doing the walk around, right? Yeah. yeah. Mojo, I'll grab that. Okay, guys. Let's let's have a quick walk around. Here we go. Um, yeah. So overall, I was just touching on the topic of the design. So you could definitely see the, the Mustang look in here. I love the front. What do you think, Ailish? Yeah, but do you know what? I don't mind. I, I, like, I like this. The grill, actually. This okay. I, yeah, so I think, like, just getting around here, there's, for me, a bit too much tyre here yep. in, re in relation to the wheel. This is, like, proper car nerd stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think bigger wheels would have been slightly better on this. But I do absolutely love the red brake calipers. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I think I need to make an admission now, which I've, I've kind of hinted to a few times on this channel. And I... So I used to work for a company called Drive Tribe and I was a petrol head. Um, I come from a Ford family. My dad has a Sierra Cosworth. I had a Focus RS and then sold it when I fell in love with electric cars. But there is part of me that's really excited about this car because um, I spent four weeks in America with a V8 Mustang five years ago, um, traveling around and it was kind of like an addictive experience and there's so much about the Mustang that I love. And there's just something about these like huge red brake calipers that remind me of like the fast Fords of old um, and just give it something that I think brands like Tesla, as much as I love them, kind of struggle, you know, they, they don't have that history and tradition of, of like sports cars, um, you know, fast cars and all of the like, the things that come along with that. And just one of those things for me is you see a nice pair of red 
big red brake calipers on a Ford, and it just signals certain things and makes my um, makes my heart flutter a bit, which is one of the lamest things I've ever said in my life, but it is true. So I do like the brake calipers, nice. not such a big fan of the slightly small wheels. Um, so yeah, I, feel, I will. I should let you get on with your walk around now. No, no, I, I feel very emotionally attached to that story. That was, okay. that was a really, really good point. Even though it was just about calipers, I really very much agree. Yep. Very nice, mate. Nice one. Um, Quick question from Dee McQueen. They're saying, yep. what's it like in terms of battery charge, cycles, longevity, etc." Well, that's, yeah, we'll try and answer that in the review because we've only just picked up this car, so we know very little about it other than research that we've done online. And I think it would be unfair for me to like give an opinion and try to mm. answer that accurately without having tested it myself. But, but we, um, we do know, we do know that it's about a third less efficient than yeah. the brand I'm not supposed to mention. It's fine, we can mention <laughs> Tesla. Yeah, it's, it's not as efficient as, as a Tesla. So um, yeah, if it's, a, if it's efficiency you're looking for, then uh, Ford have definitely sacrificed a little bit of that in, in the Mustang Mach-E. Um, also, somebody else made a comment which I didn't quite get a chance to read because I was in the middle of talking, but it was about the, um, the difference in efficiency between the rear-wheel drive version the all-wheel drive version. We'll look into that as well because um, there are a few different versions of this car available and obviously you know some people will want efficiency over range uh, and some people will want just kind of speed and performance over range as well so we'll, we'll look into all of that for you. Gonna jump in, no yeah, for you, for um, somebody's mentioned slash asked what is this spec because can you just can you run them through what spec there are and which one this is? Yeah so the the base level spec is a rear wheel drive um, standard range car that is somewhere in the region of, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head, it's kind of upwards of 250 miles of range in that car and that is sub 40,000 pounds. This car is, I'm just going to actually grab my notes from right here, E4X. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is 335 miles of range, all wheel drive. Uh, 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds, 150 kilowatt charging can charge it from 10 to 80% in 45 minutes, as I said, which is 268 miles, uh, and it has 88 kilowatt hour battery. In terms of some of the other spec, it's got um, Bang & Olufsen speakers, Ooh. it's got kind of like, it's got a lot of little party tricks that I think are worth us kind of like going around the car and talking about now. I know that Cole's got one in particular that he uh, fell in love with a little bit earlier around the back of the car. Oh, um, yes. and, and wants to show you. So yes. um, instead of me talking about it, do you want to move that a little bit forward? Why don't we just show you? Yeah, we'll take yeah, us we'll around, around the back. Cole. Let's go around the back. Yeah. I think for me, there's uh, every car for me has like my fa a favorite angle, if that makes sense. For me, it's the front. But then when mm. you go to the back, oddly enough, I'm I really like it as well. Every car, that, I don't know, name any car. There's just always one angle that I love the most. This one has a lot of. Mustang in the rear because of those lights, the design, yeah. you can really, really notice it. I mean, that's the key characteristic they nicked was the rear lights, Ooh. isn't it? And, it. and a bit of the front light. Can I, grab can, I just, can I show you something? Yeah, go right. for it. Here's, so the parking brake's on right now. This tile's not moving. I take the parking brake off and it's ready to go. And then I lift the brake, nothing happens. You're going to want to take the camera out of the car because uh -huh. I just want to show you how talky this car is. This is me touching the accelerator. Don't hit that bin. Oy! Wow, that is really talky. Like trying to park this in a confined space is an absolute nightmare. But um, I've put it in park so we can take a look around the car now. Yeah. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> Right, so, um, not, I mean, not a new, not a new feature, but um, it does have the tailgate, uh, hands-free tailgate. So, if you have the key on you, you can just kick under. Got some lights. Off, off it opens. Oh wait, how did you do that? What did you do? So, if you've got the key on you, yeah, the kick under acts as a, oh, as a way to. Oh, what? Where, where, where did you kick it exactly? So you, you just you just kick it in just, the rear. Just try, just kick it. No, no, just please no. don't kick it. <laughs> yeah. right. So that, that's a nice little feature it's got. Kick um, it. In. I want to see that again. That oh, was really cool. In and out. Oh, so handy when you've got you know shopping, yeah. whatever. You load it in. Four hundred, just over four hundred liters space trunk for an SUV. I would argue maybe on the on the low side. Um, I mean, would you say that's fairly small for an it, SUV? Uh, just by looking yeah, at yeah, it? Yeah, for an SUV, for sure. Yeah. That. That's yeah, similar to the Tesla, isn't but it? But then again, you can open that up by lowering the... What's, uh, what's under that? Oh yeah, let's have a look. 
Um, a not much. A little bit of space. No charging cable? They're in the they're front, in the front I imagine, ah. yeah. The, my, my main objection to the to the boot and the size of the boot is you can't fit a big dog in there, which for me is the measure right. of an SUV but, boot. But can you fit Ailish in there? Let's find out. Should we try? Let's yeah. do it. Just cold, don't knock me in this time. <laughs> I'm so gonna close it. Can I give it a little kick? Yeah, kick it. Right. You ready? I mean, this is very comfortable. Head down, head down. Yeah. Bye, guys. Oh. Oh. Or, or an alien. She fits. <laughs> Wait, I think. All right, let's <laughs> open that up again. There you go. So Ailish does fit. It's approved this is, by me. Is, I, I think this is becoming quickly our the the Electroheads test for for boot space. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the second thing we've done now. <laughs> second time we've done it. Okay. All right. Do you want to close that with your with your foot? Yes. They <laughs> don't actually kick it. <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked, it worked. <laughs> it worked. It was just a light tap, you know, like a pony, just getting it to go. So yeah, I was I started talking about the, the rear design. So I, I, love quite, I love that. I think that looks really nice. I think this is wicked. Especially with the lights on. What do you think, Rich? Yeah, I think I mean, it looks he's... absolutely lovely. Um, I'd like to answer a couple of questions yeah, let's from do the it. audience now, if Go you can. So, um, Dee says, I think park assist would be handy on this one because it does kind of jump by the looks of it. It really does jump. Uh, I was taken aback. And it does have park assist, um, I believe, on, that, on some of the higher spec versions. Perhaps this one. I haven't actually tested that yet. But what it does have, which is really useful, is um, kind of overhead parking cameras, a bit like the, the e-tron has, um, and the parking sensors on generally pretty good. So um, in this little space here, I don't think it's a problem as long as you trust cameras and technology. Submit. We've, over there, you can see there's a, a Seat e Electric, which I've been uh, the last week. I kind of prefer sometimes just driving without all of those assists and, and trusting my actual kind of um, spatial awareness. I wouldn't necessarily want to do that on this car, so I think you're absolutely right. Um, and Danny RYZ ESP UK, it's a long name, Dan, Great name. Um, says, looking forward to see this car in action. I think it's just started raining because of England in summer. Um, is take us out for a little drive and just see if we can keep good enough 4G connection to, um, to keep that going. We'll give that kind of another five minutes though. But um, yeah. It's, I think probably next step for us is take a look inside, right? Should we jump in? Yeah, let's yeah. jump in. Let's do it. Let me, let me quickly set up the camera here. Okay. I'm just going to jump on the inside here, guys. One second, bear with me. <clears throat> All right. Put that over there. These little door buttons have just changed my life, actually. They're great, aren't yeah, they? they're so good. Right, that'll go there. <sighs> Perfect. And then we will jump in the front and back. We'll have me in the back, Moja monitoring the live stream next to me. Wow, this seat is there we go. really plush. Uh, there Very we go, guys. comfortable. Super. Yeah, it's, it's like supporting you in all, all the right places. You know how in some cars you just get in and it just feels a bit... Yeah. Like, like I mean, you need some lumbar support and all that. This, this, is, this is here. This is business know? class right yeah, here, isn't it? Yeah, this is it? nice. This also, is lovely. I love, I don't know if you can see, like the red threading that's all around the car. It's gorgeous. It just gives it a little pop, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I really like it. I mean, I'm going to jump in and say something really important. Do you, do you want to show some of these features from back there? We I know do. you just attached yeah, we the cameras. Do. I just yeah. want to say, I've been in a lot of SUVs lately, and most of them actually don't have that much leg room in the back. This has so much. Yeah. Really? Mate, ju you just jump in the back. Does Rich. that make up for the small boot? Yes. Yeah, let's let's I think that's really that's really important. Come jump in. Let's drink hold up. Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was my knee. <laughs> that, was a, that was a trick. Yours, I just wanted to go right, in front. You can't see, but the space between Rich's knee yeah. and the back of the seat, there's so much room. I'm I'm six foot one, and this is like, this is a crazy amount that's of space. That's amazing. So, yeah, it's not pretty bad. good. Definitely yeah. more headroom than in uh, Model 3. Sorry, yeah, I just noticed sure. the glass roof as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's amazing. Beautiful. That's huge. That's sick. Yeah, it is nice. And it makes it feel so airy. As well. It's like really nice bubble. Yeah. Right, should we have a look at the front? Rich, do you want to grab the camera and come in front? Yeah, uh, you, you take the camera and I'll just kind of point yeah, at nice things. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Let's switch. There you go. <laughs> Rich is going to show us the front infotainment system. Let's have a look. Oh, what's that noise? Did you hear that? Mm, I think that was that. warning that the driver door is open. Oh, fine. Very nice. So, this is the touchscreen that Ford say was inspired by the sci-fi movies of the 80s. 
I'm quite a big Blade Runner fan and I'm, I'm not really seeing that. Mm, but no. um, it is a really cool touchscreen that I think everyone other than Tesla should aspire to because you know, like, it does work well. The software is really responsive. Um, you can... That wheel is really cool. I like that. Yeah. I, mean, I like that. Then so you can tactile. change really settings cool. on a bumpy road and like... And I just want to, I can't play too much of the radio because um, we might get a copyright claim if we <laughs> accidentally play too much of a song. But this speaker system, let me just absolutely cane this. <laughs> oh, wow. That was really good. Yeah, that's Bang & Olufsen. So like, that's that is high quality a audio. Surround. Um, there's a little charging dock down here, much like you get in uh, that other brand of car that we keep mentioning. Um, and just yeah loads of storage space and notice this earlier so got these little cubby holes nice. i always you know just you can never have too many cubby holes in a car especially mm. an suv is likely to be a family car hide a couple of toys in there when the kids are moaning in the back whack them out keep them happy and then snacks of course just whack up <laughs> if, if they keep crying just whack up kistery uh on <laughs> 30, 30 volume like we just did and just drown them out um there's a little wheel here which you see a lot on cars these days for going into different driving modes i actually prefer this to the usual kind of flip up and down yeah so that do you I, get. I think that's really cool it's just again I, I love that kind of what's it called when you get the kind of click from the buttons when you turn it there's like a certain haptic word one haptic, haptic, yeah. yeah is it haptic yeah i just there's something about that that like click as you as you turn it. I mean, I'm going to put it back in park. And can um, I can I just show you something? I'm just going to take the camera a second. This is Alish. There's a little lever there. Can oh. you just pull it back? Oh, hello. That's, that's the door. I love that. Yeah, the door handle. That's great. So just that's close awesome. it and do it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? That's sick. That. Yeah, can I think I that's awesome. Make a, make a point about that. As far as I can tell, that's an electric um, sort of assisted open but i take it if something goes wrong you can pull it harder and then it'll be a mechanical one which oh, is really? great yeah mm. okay cool um another point i wanted to make while you were on the topic of charging i love the fact that they've catered for the usb and usb c yeah. sockets same here in the back mm. i don't know if you can see most cars either choose usb or usb c and then you're kind of stuck if you don't have one or the other yeah, yeah. so this is quite, that's quite a nice touch as well um, I really like the steering wheel. Does it feel grippy and, and bulky? It really reminds me of uh, my Focus RS steering wheel. Oh really? Wheel. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's really nice. Um, and the stitching. It's amazing. Th th this is something I love about like kind of higher model Fords. They do this lovely stitching on the on the middle of their steering wheels that you just kind of it's nice to it's nice and grippy on your thumb. Um, there's something I really like about it. Again, it's one of the lamest things I've ever said, but it's it's those little it's touches that I think. You know, this this is a brand new car with so much technology and hand-stitched leather, which is something I know like Porsche are big on, for example. Um, I've actually been to the factory and, and seen them hand-stitch the interiors of their cars. Like, it's those little touches that make it feel like more than just a piece of technology and, you know, like, some, like a car that you can actually bond with. Mm. Um, you've also got this little kind of digital screen here that uh, does a few different things for you. It's obviously tells you the speed that you're going the range you've got left um so you know it's not just this big touch screen on on the left like you have just this in a tesla mm. um from memory and not this here interesting and point, a lot yeah. of people want to see their speed right in front of them like, like rather than than looking here so you know that's for me that's like a, a cool and important feature um i'm intrigued that they've done it a portrait screen rather than landscape yeah. you know they've they've actually Oh, someone's done absolutely the this way. Yeah, that guy's having a good time. <laughs> I'm intrigued with what they have. Yeah, there, have, are, are have a little cool, play, because I've, I've cool already had a look it. around. I kind of want to get your first impressions yeah, of it. Yeah, really. so dynamic parking. Wow, okay. I didn't know parking could be so dynamic. I think that dynamic. must be parking assist if we, if we uh, take a look at that. Okay, well, we should try that maybe when we start yeah. driving. But, okay, oh, here we go, drive modes. This is something that I'd, I'd quite like to talk We can give them a go. So Ah, so I've been trying to park in untamed. Oh, that's why that's, it that's kicks why off so it's, much. That's why it's been so hard. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's probably why. <laughs> you put it in whisper. Maybe that'll be a bit more of a yeah, maybe whisper gentle would be nicer. park. You've also got one pedal drive, so basically kind of regen braking where the car oh, yeah. brakes for you as soon as you lift from acceleration, which is the thing I love about the Tesla. I'm sure you felt the same. I was going to ask, do you prefer the one pedal drive? Because I definitely prefer it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like... It makes like life so easy. It's something about like, you feel like you're saving energy and creating yeah. energy whilst also driving, which gives you like a good feeling you know you feel like you're not being wasteful with your energy you're actually getting it back as well yeah it's just so efficient isn't it yeah yeah it um 
actually went I went straight from driving the the model 3 the other day to driving the the Mi electric um, and the one going from one pedal driving to driving where when you lift your foot off the accelerator you just keep rolling forward it's a weird experience like actually the feeling of slowing down when you lift from an accelerator is weirdly intuitive mm. because on if you're used to driving ICE cars like we all have grown up doing then you get engine braking naturally when you lift off the accelerator mm. and the car begins to slow down a little bit yeah. so so I, yeah I think it's quite intuitive and I, I quite like it yeah. should we go for a little drive one little message yeah, from a, a comment uh, Mark Houston's asking if you've noticed the anti finger jam feature uh, so anti finger Ooh. jam yeah. where's that yeah. I mean, do we know what that is do you want to try it? well it's in when you open the door yeah, um, yeah. Is, is, Oh, is it because there's like a... Like no, a... no, so you can't shut your fingers in the door, I think. I'm not fully sure. Is any of us brave enough think... to test that? Yeah, Has anyone got a pen? A bit of a scary one there. <laughs> yeah. A pen. Well, uh, that's a bit too fat for a finger. Yeah, what about, what about my, uh, my clipboard? Okay. That's kind yeah. of like Let's fingers. What about your fingers? Uh, so, no, do you, are I mean, you volunteering? Is oh, quickly, yeah. Let us know in the comments what you meant by that in case we got this wrong. So, okay. So, should I just try this? Yeah, I Go guess so. <laughs> Stick it out a bit more. So yeah. there, there. No. No. no it's not <laughs> Good thing it wasn't our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be fingers. Should we actually do the fingers? I no, no, I don't think so, mate. Um, we'll, we'll find out in the comments very, very shortly who, who uh, what they meant. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good to know. I'm going to close that now without your fingers. Okay, and I'm going to come back. Oh, is someone trying to leave? Was that was that you hooting? That's us. Oh, actually. okay. So. Some cars do this right, so when the car is unlocked and you close all the doors, it beeps twice. Now I don't know about you guys, but you know when you come back from like a late night drive, you come back from the airport when you've been to like Spain for a holiday and it's three in the morning so and then suddenly got, well, yeah. the car closes, uh, so the door closes the car and then it beeps twice and then suddenly you've woken up all the neighbours. I think, I get why they've put in the feature, the double horn, mm. but I'm not keen on it. I just love that story, Sean. <laughs> <Very, laughs> incredibly specific use taste for Ailish. It's so happened what, too many times. What does the double horn do? So if you close the door when the car is still unlocked, yeah. all the doors, it beeps twice to let you know that you've uh, not locked the car. Is that right? Uh, but Mine does that when you lock the car. Oh no, that's even worse. Hmm. I don't know, I'm, okay. I'm not, not keen Shall on that. We... Should we move on? Should we yeah, go for let's, a drive? Yeah, let's go for a drive. I'll tell you what, guys. Um, so if you jump in the middle coal, get washed to... We have to get let out of our car park. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Wash, do you reckon you wash, could open the car park? Wash can come and jump in. Cool, sounds we'll, good. We'll go for a drive. You know All right. what I uh, well, Rich, can I quickly this, uh, set the camera up for you? Mm -hmm. nice. Can I jump in to set the camera up? <sighs> yeah. Um, it might... I'm, I'm just... You, you can tell we haven't done loads of uh, planning for this one today because we've been really busy shooting recently, but... It might be nice because we're going to go up towards like the Shard and London Bridge mm -hmm. for you to go handheld, and then yeah. we can show you some of uh, central London as well, Sounds guys, good, in the lovely rain. Okay, I love that button. It's great. All right, I'm going in the middle next to Mojo. Let's hope our signal stays strong this, now that it's in whisper mode. Yeah. <laughs> and it's on one pedal drive as well. So wait, is the whisper supposed to be more grounded than active? Because I would have thought it would have gone like the kind of. The most chill. You would have thought Whisper is the quietest then the active, one. Then the Untamed? Yeah, I vaguely remember reading something online about how Whisper was just not a good name for this yeah. mode. So we'll, um, we'll find but, but out. But it is, it is the medium mode, technically. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm excited about this. I'm this excited! This is my first drive. Should we close these windows? Yeah. It's, it's raining a bit. Someone's going to get Deo to open the gate. He has. Oh, shit. I hit that. Oh, we're we're just gonna go for a drive and then we'll park it back in the uh, in the Fox Shot space. Oh, okay. This is our site manager. I wouldn't call this an SUV because oh. I feel sorry. Ashton. We'll only be back. <laughs> There's only five of us in here. We've been parking roguely. Could you yeah. crank up the um in the, the 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 cooling? Yes, mate. Please. Of course. Let me try and work that out right now. There we go. There we go. Slide that up. Oh. Oh, it's oh. raining. Oh, this is a very honest test of how much space this SUV has. Uh, somebody, somebody's put it on 29.5 right? degrees. Yeah, yeah. It's tropical. Um, Cole, was this you trying to uh, prank us? No. <laughs> Such a cold thing to do. Okay, so th this mode is l much less janky. That's the other janky. This is a lot smoother. The bonnet like really stretches out, doesn't it? Yeah. That is like that classic Mustang, like just keeps going. Guys, whisper. 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 
We're in whisper pretty, mode then, yeah? Pretty quiet. Un wow. That it's one, pretty quiet. One pedal driving is like really kicks it's in. It's really responsive. Yeah. Uh, so let's think about this. It's one of those things. I don't even know where I'm going. Where should we head? Like should we London head via, Bridge? The, via the Should we go via fully charged? Yeah, and yeah, let's just go up that way. Up that way, and then... The bike shop, yeah. guys, not, by the way. Let's just, the, you know, the rival stipulate. YouTube channel. By the way, as we're driving around, <laughs> some of you may have seen that our beloved friend, Jack, has gone to Fully Charged as their car presenter. So I think we should just take this opportunity to say congratulations, Jack. That is fully deserved. Woo! Um, Woo! Yay, yeah, well boy! Yes, Jack, we love you! We love you, bro! <laughs> Uh, yeah, worth noting that uh, you can keep watching car videos on Electrohead, so please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> this is an example of back doing car videos. It would just be uh, not Jack doing them, which is sad mm. because we absolutely love doing those videos with him, didn't we? Okay, we've got a viewer yeah. comment. James King is asking, oh, how, no. can you download old Mustang noises for it? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Let can, me can we, look. Can we, okay. uh, can That's we just it. do some sound effects like beatbox style? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that will make James King happy, then we'll do it. Is that good enough, James? <laughs> oh, guys, sorry, just seen ambient light. Whoa. Oh. What is this? Oh, you can change color. Oh, wow. wow. What? I imagine we will see this a lot yeah, more in the, in the dark. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll wait for a little night. Oh. Right I am loving this panorama. Oh. Mark said it's got the pipe synth sound you can toggle it on and off Eilish can you find that what's that sorry it's a v8 synth so you can actually turn on sound effects of a v8 yeah mark, mark knows a lot about this car yeah. and, um, mark, Victor, do you want to be involved in the next review mark it's it sounds like you're doing a better job than i am so yeah keep watching and um try sound 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 that's setting telling us what to do yeah. question for you richard uh, yes. victor bb says how much horsepower has this thing got uh, this has about 350 horsepower, this car. Which is the top of the range one, right? Uh, no, there is a performance model above this. So this is the, the long range kind of non-performance model. Nice. There is a model that does uh, 0 to 60 quicker, I think towards around four seconds. This one's um, 5.8. But uh, yeah, 350 horsepower, that is the same as a, as a Focus RS. So uh, it's a powerful car. It's just also uh, basically two tons. So it's a, it's a bloody heavy car as well. Um, I'm thinking about starting to count how many times so, Richard uh, has said Alish. Focus RS. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you'll find propulsion sound, Mark says, you'll find propulsion sound, it's just under one pedal drive. Ooh. I think that sounds like an address to me, one pedal drive. One pedal drive, where was that? <laughs> We've been oh there. Gosh. Yeah, we have. Was We're... it this one? Drive got, mode? What, under, oh! Propulsion sound. Propulsion sound. Yeah, propulsion sound. sound. Propulsion sound. Or maybe we need to turn it up. Info. You know what, it's generated yeah, to one enhance one the driving sound. experience. The sound level is mode dependent. Oh, whisper, whisper minimum. Oh, let's go on untamed Untamed then. is maximum. Oh, okay, let's fucking do this. Nice. Oh, I swore on a live stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, kids. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you what. Let's turn radio off. And turn it up. And turn it up. Yeah, nice. so... Um, That's it. Is, we, how do is, we just turn it off? DJ Doolittle's saying wave at him. Good question. Mm. Uh, no, wave on. I think he meant on. wave at him like this. Oh, okay, I thought he was like outside. Oh, there we right. go. oh yeah, wicked. Audio okay. off. Okay. There we go. I think it'll, it'll like wave him. Doesn't sound like a Mustang. I think I've accidentally got my four beans on as well. Uh, right, let's find out. I'm in a 20 mile an hour zone, so I can't really. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I can oh, hear it. Yeah. That sounds so good. What was that? <laughs> That's, that's actually quite cool, you that's know? That's yeah, I rate that for the, for, for the first time I like synthetic it's, audio. It sounds legit actually as well. That sounds yeah. good. It's got like this grumble. Sound, oh. Yeah, Mark said sounds louder and untamed. Thanks for that tip, Mark. That was really cool. Thanks, Mark. Mark really Ooh. knows his stuff. Yeah. So, Mark, do you have a, a Mustang Mackie or do you just work for Ford? What's, <laughs> what's your deal? <laughs> there we go. You can see some of the city now in front of us. Are we actually going to one pedal drive then? Well, we're, yeah, we yeah, are. We're not in one pedal drive, but it still it still has regenerative braking when you're not in one pedal drive, which I kind of like. That's it's just good. a kind of light bit of regen coming on at the moment. I imagine you can change that somewhere yeah. else in the settings. Yeah. Uh, um, quick, quick question from so the audience. Dan Rees, ESP UK. Uh, can you try and do all the things that normal ICR, ICE drivers try to do, like uh, change the air conditioning, change the volume, <laughs> Change the channel. He hates a touch screen. He wants to see how easy it is to turn up the aircon. Can you do that, Elish? Uh, I yeah, I imagine we can. Um, 
Ailish, can so, you do that? Because I'm being swarmed yeah, by buses. Yeah, I was going to say that mopeds. bus was pushing. So sorry, mate. What am I doing? Doing a change the aircon. Change the aircon. Here we go. Change the whole That's the fan. E heat. Okay, so we've got AC there. Turn it off, I guess. Cool. Oh no, we want that on. Yeah, yeah we definitely want AC yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, it's what else? Warm. Why is E heat on though? We don't want E heat, do we? Here we go. There we go. What else do we want? Um, that was cool. That's cool. So in, in response to Dan, what I would say is on um, on any car that is modern, you often have like quite precise controls that are quite small on a touch screen. And the controls here are all quite big. Like you've got quite a big thing to hit there if you just want to turn absolute radio on, which uh, I do sometimes because I, I like rock music. <laughs> so um, everything is actually quite easy to use. And, and it's not like, you know, when you're driving on 50 miles an hour and you're trying to hit a, a button on a touch screen, sometimes it's really hard. And I think for that reason, I do just like buttons. Mm, like I'm not yeah. the biggest fan of touch screens, but this is a good one. Yeah. So if I want, I can just turn your, um, I just got beeped there for not going through the light within half a second. Um, <laughs> London. <laughs> yeah, all of these things, they're like, they're easy to switch on and off. I might st switch on my steering wheel heating. There there steering we go. wheel cool. heating, yeah. sick. In the meantime, I'm just going to quickly show uh, a bit of touristy stuff. That's the yeah. shard. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, back to the car. Back <laughs> to the car. Back to the car. What else have oh, we got? Oh, look, e-scooter. Yeah, so Rich, someone said that the infotainment system is inspired by AE Cypher. Pedestrians in London, am I right, guys? Uh, no, right. Uh, I know, right? I am not seeing much 80s sci fi ness about the touchscreen. There is a bit of it, I would say, in the design of the car in general, though. Mm. It's, it's, it's got kind of a futuristic design about it. That steering was actually really hot. Now. <laughs> um, okay, I touch it. So, I've got another comment. Yeah, another question. Um, can we play Minecraft? <laughs> uh, someone's also mentioned Super Mario 2. So, Elish, what's the games like? Um, I believe there aren't games in the system, is that correct? Is that a Tesla fan I was going to say, yeah, I, I think <laughs> I that's I think he's all... trying to make a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, next that... one. <laughs> so there's no games at all? Well, well it, it might be, let's, let's have a look. We, the thing we really should stress about this video, we don't know. We have had this car for as long as this video has been live. So we're, we're learning this bloody hell. Um, and you're also just seeing what a nightmare driving in London is as well. You have to be quite <laughs> aggressive with buses, but I don't mind that. Let's have a look. What, what does it feel like as a, as a passenger, <laughs> Ailish? I have to say, it's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. Um, like, very roomy. Like, just honestly, having this, this glass panel up here, like, it just makes such a difference. Yeah. The, like, the, like the, the front view and everything is great. Um, I don't feel like I'm being like pushed and pulled around. Like it's a very comfortable seat. It's got the nice little armrest here. Um, there's enough think, space to put things in. I think the spaciousness of this is probably the key because most SUVs these days are just. Ooh, wow! wow. Oh, that is a rich lot of talk. <laughs> Less said that. I need to go back down the road. I left my flipping stomach 50 meters down there, mate. Oh my god! It, do, it does make your heart go, doesn't it? I disagree yeah. about the space. I got more space than my Mercedes A-Class back than back here. You can't afford a chip tool and towers, man. Yeah, what's, what's it like in the back, guys? I'm not so comfortable. I don't know whether you got to be. I think it's because off. I'm You're not that I think fat. It's because I'm sitting in the middle, mate. Yes. I mean, <laughs> there's actually a lot of space here, yeah. and obviously because there's no uh, transmission tunnel here, it gives me a lot more space well, in the middle. I would have thought with an SUV, you'd be fine to be sitting in the middle. <laughs> the people that would be sat in the back are kids so you're three fully grown adults um fairly comfortable and i mm. yeah i i think pretty good just from how i was uh, on the mic know what you're moaning about mojo i think to get <laughs> To get away from this building. Oh, do you want to come in? See those. Oh, no. I Signal, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, it's back. Yes. Yes, sir. We're back, we live. Yeah. Sorry about that guys, we had a bit of a signal drop out there. We are currently at a very 
return of the man. Infamous spot. Infamous? It's famous. <laughs> Infamous. Can you see just up ahead we have the very famous London Bridge. Plus Tower, Tower Bridge, Tower mate. Bridge. Oh, everyone always gets that wrong. You live in London. How are you we all always do that, though. I always call it London Bridge. It's Tower Bridge. <laughs> Tower, Bridge. Tower Bridge, everyone. Where's the nearest McDonald's? Coming up soon. <laughs> Where is the nearest McDonald's? All right, here we go. Launch. Woo! <laughs> Uh, it's not slow, is it? Nice. I mean, nice. It's so hard to well, show acceleration on a camera, yeah. but that, yeah, there's got a lot of torque. Considering there's one, two, three, four, five, I can count five people in the car and it's an SUV, that, that felt really quick. Yeah. There's something very different about when the driver is doing it and then when you're the passenger. Yeah, for sure. It's not enjoyable, is it, when you're it's, a passenger? It's a little bit stomach churning when you're in the passenger seat and it's like full throttle because it's, uh, it's slightly out of your control, isn't it? And you really feel the, feel the G-force. But here we are. Oh, here we go, look, to the left. There's London for you. London. Not far from our friend, the bar. How's the handling, Rich? Do you know what, the steering is actually quite tight. I quite like it. It's, it's fairly sporty. Is it adjustable? Have we seen any steering adjustments? Yeah, I imagine it would be. But you like it heavy, don't you? Yeah, but to be honest, the driving modes probably adjust the steering as well. Yeah, so probably. It feels different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i really liking this. I read some some uh, comments online that were saying, especially at low speeds, it feels a bit sludgy to drive, mm. like a, a bit um, heavy. lurchy and heavy. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not really feeling that. Like the steering is fairly heavy, but that's obviously kind of catered towards country road driving which we we were advised by the, the guy who works for Ford who, who dropped it off to us um, that we should take it out to some country roads and properly enjoy it uh, which we will definitely do but um, yeah you know for now it feels like a comfortable city car to be driving around. Compared to your expectations of what you were thinking this car was going to be has it exceeded expectations or? It's a weird it's, it's difficult to say without driving over mm. 20 miles an hour but the one thing... Oh, we're getting looks. Everyone's looking. Have you noticed that? Yeah, really? it, it does look yeah. absolutely beautiful. And what I would say, I was expecting to feel like no connection whatsoever to the Mustang that I've driven in the past. Um, and there's something about the styling and definitely that kind of fake V8 noise that's being piped <laughs> in that does make it feel like you're driving something like a little bit special, which is nice, you know? I, I, I'm not sure it would be the same on the, the 40 grand version. But mm. this car, like, it feels luxurious to me. It's really enjoyable to drive so far. Yeah. And uh, it's, you know, it's certainly not an arduous drive, which some people online were, were saying that it was. So I'd have to say I, I disagree with that. Sure, sure. I think taking it around the city is probably like one of the biggest tests you can put it through really, isn't it? Yeah, especially <laughs> London at this time of day as yeah. well. We're, uh, we we're a couple of questions. Yep, go for it. Uh, James asking, what's the charge and the range time? The so range. the it, it depends, obviously, what rates you charge at, but you can get uh, ten to eighty from ten percent charge to eighty percent charge in forty five minutes uh, on a one hundred and fifty kilowatt charger. It's an eighty eight hour uh, eighty eight kilowatt hour battery, so mm -hmm. um, you need to do some mental maths to work out what that would be on other charging times. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, for considering the fact that it's you know it's a fairly high range car um 10 to 80 percent charge in 45 minutes i think it's decent that gives you like well over 200 miles of range the thing i would say is you can get 10 to 80 percent charge in 30 minutes on the uh, rear wheel drive version which still gets you over 200 miles of range so it's definitely worth having a look at the um the different charging times and the battery capacities on the different models because um you know, it, it might not be that you want the, the additional range of this one. You might just want something that you can charge up quickly and go. We originally thought we were getting the, the rear wheel drive version, which I have to say, I was quite excited about just from the perspective of, um, you know, seeing if uh, it being rear wheel drive, we could get, a, you know, just a little bit of sideways action in it. I, <laughs> I doubt we would be able to, to be honest, but um, yeah, it's, it's different for every model. I think short answer is, the, the charge times on this are, are fairly impressive, I would say. Um, 
think Ford have put together a, a good package here. And what's, and what's really cool as well is if you put in your location uh, into the uh, navigation system that is built into this car, um, it will actually tell you if the car can get to that destination on the charge that it has. Yeah. And if it can't, then it will actually direct you to the nearest charge point on the way there. So I actually think that's quite a cool feature, which yeah. obviously isn't, you know, that, that's not unique, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. I think it's something that is quite crucial that we should be like including in every electric car these days because that range anxiety is definitely a thing. Whoa! <laughs> Moja, you had a question? Uh, so, what is it? Yeah, David was asking how many wheels came with the car. I mean, <laughs> de definitely four, but that is a thing because I very much like being able to uh, change my tire when I get a flat and it can be quite hard to find whether there even is, uh, is there is there a wheel in the front? Rich, is there a wheel in the front? No, I don't think no, so. No, there's no, there's no wheel in the front. Why? I think these Why might is be that run, a thing? I think Why? these might be run flats. But wh That's what not does that cool. mean? Run flats run basically flats. mean if you have a puncture, they'll still allow you to, to drive at a lower speed oh. without deflating fully. Yeah, which is but cool when you're not in Wales. I, I think it's an increasingly um, popular feature, isn't it? I, mean, I know Tesla's the same where there's no spare tire, but you can always kind of get, you know, even just at Halfords, you can get a spray that fills the tire up. Um, with a hard material just kind of long enough for you to, to get to where you need to go mm -hmm. which um, it's I mean it's ultimately for weight saving I believe exactly it's for weight um, saving so when you've got like two tons of car you don't necessarily want to be adding another wheel any, any weight that's not perfectly necessary I, I would say but yeah. um, I've do you know what in like 15 years of driving I've only ever had a flat once I've been very lucky uh, it was also very lucky in that it was about 200 meters away from my house <laughs> so um, I did have a spare tire and it was fine, but I always like in any car make sure that I've got whatever that spray is called, where you can just kind of foam up the, the tire and keep moving again. Just a quick uh, word, guys. We've been rolling for the last 50 minutes, so really? we'll, we'll probably roll for another 10. If you mm. have any more questions, write oh. them down. Now's the time, um, and we'll try and answer them before. It could be on the topic of the car. It could be on the topic of electro heads. It could be on the topic of what we ate for lunch today, anything. Yeah. Um, but if you have any questions, write them down now, and we're going to try and answer them in the next 10 minutes, and then uh, then the next video we'll publish will probably be something on, on the lines of this car review. Can I can I get emotional for a second? Is, oh, let's is do that it. okay, guys? Can we, can we put some sad music on quickly? <laughs> no, no, it's happy music. Happy music, of course. Happy music. Yeah, I just want to say, like, you know, chances are that if you're watching this, then you know you, you're subscribed to the channel and you might have been for a while. And I just want to say that, like, we really appreciate that. We've we've noticed recently we're getting we're getting more views, we're getting more comments, we're getting more subscribers, and it feels really exciting. And it feels like people are just kind of very kind in the comment sections and very supportive of us and we really appreciate that so I guess what I want to say is like if there's anything you want to see more or less of um please don't say you want to see less of me and more of Eilish that would be a bit <laughs> mean but um you know if, I if, don't think they would <laughs> if, if, you know if you want to if you want to see more car stuff like we've, we've been doing a lot of scooter stuff recently because that situation is really interesting in the UK um but if you if you want to see more cars like let us know um if there are any cars you particularly want to want us to take a look at then then let us know we um you know we're, we're personally really interested in the mission of making electrification for everyone we're really interested in affordable electric cars more than anything we're really interested in what what people want to know and what people think needs to change because we will gladly explore those topics and kind of you know spread those messages um that's that's what we're here to do so yeah, that's the end of my emotional rant, really, just to say thank you. Um, and if there's anything you particularly want to see from us, then just give us a shout. Yeah. No, that was, how, how was that? That was guys? very good. Yeah, yeah. and it's very true. Yeah. It's very true. <laughs> I mean, we're, that wasn't just Rich's words. It's all of us at Electroheads. We all feel the same and completely agree with him. So yeah, absolutely spot on. Mm -hmm. um, do shout we have any questions? To, shout out to London Eats, who's watching us. Yes, um, yes. Wait, he's going to come in, isn't he? He is, guys. If you're soon? watching this, then subscribe to London Eats. Uh, you can find his channel because he's in the comments section right now. There's really cool videos in London of uh, his delivery um, on, on e-bikes, uh, delivering food to people for Uber Eats, Deliveroo, that sort of thing. Um, we just sort of fell A little question about the range in the winter, which I think is definitely a concern when you're needing heating and such as that. I don't really know if we know the statistics on what the range reduction is in cold.
find out about a little energy like Moja said, heating, um, because ultimately it comes from a generator to generate heat rather than from, from a motor. Yeah, but you um, you can't have AC running, so... Yeah. This is true, this is true. Um, but the real test, I guess, will come in the winter. We don't know 100% right I guess now. It will. I, I think by friends of mine who say, oh, the UK country, what about, um, you know, what about range going down in the winter? It's like, you know, electric cars are so popular in Norway, which is uh, a hell of a lot colder than the UK. And, and it's not, the issue people think is that cold weather makes the, it affects the batteries. But what it usually is, is kind of like Cole was just saying then, it's, um, you know, it's using energy to heat the car and things like that. The batteries are incredibly well insulated. So I don't think it's as much of a problem as Are we getting dropouts, by the way? Yeah, we're getting you, dropouts. You look concerned. Yeah. Right. But we're back now, we're good. Cool. So, <laughs> did anyone hear my answer about Norway? <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost a bit of that. Um, yeah, I mean, the TLDR is, I don't think you need to worry as much about battery range in, in winter as, as you might think, because the batteries are really well insulated. It's more about how much heating you use. And actually, you know, if you look at Norway as an example, which is an incredibly cold country, uh, then they seem to be fine with electric cars. Very true. Yeah, if Norway can do it, so can we. Yeah. All right, guys, I think we'll start rounding it up now. Ailish, do you want to give them a little bye-bye and yeah, out outro? Yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, let us know again down in the comments. Just just tell us, is, is there anything that you want us to cover in the Mackie review that we do? We've got this car for a week, so so get it down there and tell us what you want to know. Um, we're pretty impressed, uh, I think, aren't we? Like, yeah, first, so far, yeah, yeah. first thoughts, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a cool little, little mm. additions in here. Um, we'll be driving it more over the week and we'll give you some more in-depth thoughts later on. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and it's goodbye from all of us here at Electroheads. Bye. Bye. It's Bye. coming out. It's coming <laughs> <laughs> right. One sec, guys. When you see the black screen. Did you click it already? <laughs>